Hi YouTube, this is Patrick, and this is my review for Dexter Season 6, Episode 9. Get Geller. Finally did. Um, the reveal we've kind of been waiting for all season to go one way or the other finally happened. Uh, Geller's not real. He's in Travis's head. He's Travis's dark passenger. And most of us figured it out around Episode 3 this year, or at least heard it from someone. Um... And basically, we've been playing a game all season, guessing if he was real or he wasn't. Um, I gotta say, I am pretty disappointed that he isn't real. Um, I was hoping it was all misdirection and he was just gonna be real. Um, you know, because I'm thinking about it in the long run, where as far as like rewatchability goes, and it kind of hurts the show. Uh, as far as a rewatch, I mean, like, um, earlier in the season, Travis called Geller on, like, a cell phone. You know, there were two cups, two mugs at the, the bar they were at. These are, like, nitpicks and everything like that. But whatever, it's, I don't know, it, it was just disappointing. Um, it was nice to get it over, get it out of the way. That was the only thing good about it, that we're out of the way with that, and now we just know it's just Travis and that's it. But, I gotta say, I mean, I think that any other direction would have been better. Whereas if it would have been Geller and Travis, definitely two people, that would have been better because it would have been two different, like, you know, adversaries. It would have been different than what Dexter usually usually has to face. Or, um, almost, I was hoping he would, you know, just stab Travis there and Travis would die and it would just be, you know, Geller would be the, the main villain. Um, which would be, um, which I, I would have liked. Uh, more than, than this. And what was the other one? Oh, the other one is if they would have just told us right from the get-go that Geller wasn't real. Because they could have done a whole bunch of different stuff with it. Um, and just... I don't know. I don't know. Uh, I don't like it. I don't like it. And, um... Once again, we, um... Uh, the show, in the last three episodes, hasn't really been, uh, really doing it for me. As much as the first, like, six were. Um, and I think the reason is, is they kind of got away from their theme of the season, which was the whole religion aspect of the, the first part of it, where um, there was a lot of discussion about religion. I know some people found that repetitive. I didn't. I was actually enjoying it. I was jo enjoying, you know, Dexter's um, thoughts about it over and over again, his conversations with Brother Sam, all that stuff. They kind of dropped it completely. I mean, yeah, you know, they still talk about the Bible, but it's not... It's, they don't go into depth anymore about it. And that was one of the things I was enjoying and that's gone. I guess it died with uh, Brother Sam. Um, but yeah. So it pisses me off. Alright, so Dexter's got to deal with Travis now, who... Uh, I don't know. I, I He doesn't seem that, that difficult of a, of a villain. I mean, yeah, I know he's young and when he's holding a machete or whatever the hell that, that thing is that he's holding, yeah, he's dangerous, but... Um, He's got to do something substantial for me to be worried about what's going to happen. Because um, I'm really not. Dexter, I don't think it's... I, you know... We'll see. We'll see what happens. We'll see what they'll have him do. He has to do something substantial. He better not, you know, just get away and just not get caught for two episodes. Um, but, uh, yeah. Alright, so what else this episode? Um, oh, before I get, get away with that, one of the reasons um, I will say... The scene between Almost and and Hanks in the church was great. Um, Almost was really looking like he was out of his mind. It was just he was really good. That's why that was the moment I was really hoping he was he was real because he was just acting nuts. I was like, if this guy is really going to be you know the you know the main bad guy, like he's actually pretty scary. He just he looks like frightening. I know he's old and everything, but he was just vicious, vicious in the way that Travis hasn't seemed to be. Um, so, that disappoints me. <sighs> Shit. Disappointment's freaking all over the place, I guess. Um, what else? Uh, I do like Deb's therapy sessions. Uh, in fact, I've liked what they've done with Deb, like, all year. Really, really liked what they've done with Deb this year. That's something that hasn't dropped off with me at all. I like what they've done with her. Um... 
Quinn and Batista, that's that's run. Um, I'm annoyed now with Quinn. I mean, it was funny again, but it's like, all right, do something because you're not doing anything with the character. You keep on humbling him over and over and over, and he just keeps on going back. And it's just after a while, like enough, enough with this shit. Um, let's see what else before I get to whatever the guy's name with the ice trick killer's hand, which I'll explain why that pissed me off too, which is Showtime's fault. Um. All right, LaGuerta is covering for uh, the captain or whatever. Um, so now, as much as I hate LaGuerta, now they're basically telling me that she's going against Deb completely. So now I want her, like, hit by a car. Um, so hopefully that's what happens. Um, you know, it's something, seriously, though, the show needs a kick in the ass. I was saying this about Walking Dead last week, that they needed to, you know, get a kick in the ass this particular episode this week, and they did. Dexter's got three more to go this season. They gotta get their shit together and they gotta get moving and it's gotta move fast. And it's gotta act like, you know, something important's going on because it doesn't it doesn't feel that way. Uh what else? What else? What else? What else? Who are the other characters? I don't even know. Oh, alright, you know what? Fine, we'll get to the Ice Truck Killer's hand. Showtime. In the preview, showed us the guy talking about the Ice Truck Killer's hand. So they reminded us. Don't do that. Because I figured it out. The second we went to the guy's apartment, I was like, he's going to have the hand. Wasn't surprising. The whole idea, Showtime, whoever runs their department of, like, promos or any of that stuff, like, doing the previously on, you suck. Because everyone knows that if you put a gun in, if you show that someone has a gun in the first act, it's going to get fired in the third act. So, stop showing us the fucking gun every single time. Do you like that metaphor? Or whatever. <sighs> Freaking ridiculous. Um, I don't know. I don't know. You know, at the, after we're three quarters through the season, at the halfway point of this season, I was basically saying this was the third best behind seasons one and four. We're three quarters through, I'm saying it's only better than season five now. That's where it's at for me. That's how much I've I've disliked these last three episodes. I didn't even dislike, just the, the quality just just not as good. Not as good. Um, really, really ag aggravating. They they need they need a jump start. The second half of your season cannot be worse than your first half. Cannot be. That's the opposite of what you you want, and that's what's going on here. So they got to get it together. The show's renewed for two more seasons. I mean, I don't know. You know, this actually has me worried about it. About the show for two more years, where they got to get stuff together. We need something to have. We need someone to get killed in these next three weeks. Or we need Deb to find out who Dexter is, or something like that. Something. And for future, you know, like bad guys on the show, how about someone that can beat the shit out of Dexter? Because I am not worried at all about what Colin Hayes can do. How about someone that like. If not, can outsmart Dexter, at least, like, match him with wits, but can, can generally, like, beat the shit out of him. That would be good. That would be something interesting, where we can actually be afraid for Dexter when he kind of, like, gets to do a confrontation with the guy. Or whatever. Yeah, so that's it. That's all I got. I'm pissed off. So show pissed me off, the more I think about it. These, the whole season. With the whole Geller being fake thing. I don't like it. I was hoping it wasn't going to be the case. It was the case. I'm pissed. But maybe next week it'll pick up now that it's just Travis, and maybe they'll have a good, you know, last quarter of the season. They better. Um, and if they do, we'll move back up. Maybe it'll move back up past season three or season two for me, but we'll see. Okay, I'm done. Later, guys.